look at this in my background there's all these Durga idols are here together and today is Akadoshi, the day after Dashomi. We are experiencing the immersion of this Durga idol. This is the end of the Durga Puja and this is the starting of the waiting of another 12 months before we can experience Durga Puja once again. And you can see that in my background, all these idols from different clubs are brought together here to be immersed in the Hooghly River and all these materials, the, the mostly these idols are made with soil, mud and biodegradable materials. They will be using bigger cranes and they will be pulled and then immersed into the water. And that will mark the end of Durga Puja. We'll just try to go to the ghat where they actually do the immersion and you see these are the cranes they're going to use to lift the heavy Durga Protima and before they can immerse into the water so we'll try to see if we can actually capture the actual immersion you see there are so many idols are lined up together there is a queuing system so it will take few hours before they can immerse the idols and all the other idols of Durga's children They have put a big screen and that screen will display all the immersion process uh, one by one and can you see us that we have been captured on the camera. You can see in the background there is a big floodlight. That's actually Calcutta's Eden Garden cricket ground and there is a World Cup cricket match going on at the moment. So it's a very busy and very colorful place in Calcutta. All these idols will be brought together here through this way and then they have barricaded this area and you can see the cranes. This is where the Hooghly River is and they'll lift all the idols and then they will immerse into the river and that will mark the end of the puja. As you can see in my background there is an area they have marked and uh, they are not allowing anyone to go in because that's the area where they are putting all these idols into the water. So I don't think we can actually cover that because we can't go any closer but nevertheless they are carrying all these idols so we will be able to capture that. Look, one group of people, they're bringing the big idol, the Durga's idol, and they're carrying it manually. So let's see how that happens. It's a massive operation. How oh, they're carrying Ganesh. That's Durga's elder son. And they're carrying this. They're carrying Saraswati and Kartik, the other two children of Durga. It's not too heavy, but still they're carrying and pulling. We're just waiting for one idol to be taken out of the lorry and ready to be immersed. So that will be a complete cycle. So that will be enough for us today. But we're just waiting eagerly to see that uh, how they lift and take down the massive Durga idol from that lorry.
this episode will mark our end of Durga Puja series and that's definitely has been exciting and amazing experience from looking around all these Durga idols and for six days we have been videoing and editing and posting but this is going to be our last episode for this series. Look at that, they have pulled and ultimately they, they have lifted the, the big idol, Durga Pratima and uh, yeah, it's going to be huge and it's, they're carrying it, I think nearly 50 people carrying it. This is exciting, it's yeah, it's chaotic but very systematic as well. There are like hundreds of Durga idols are brought together for the immersion and uh, we are ending, we have captured enough and we have captured like a couple of idols being immersed although we couldn't actually uh, capture the actual process but it was very exciting, it's, I mean we haven't, we never experienced this before properly and yeah, it's, it, it is going to be an amazing sharing with you guys. Hope you enjoyed our Durga Puja series and uh, goodbye until the next series.